William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn, containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... Oh, God. 
Last time I was that deep. Empty that purse. God forsaken dog. Piss off. You want to catch up speeding? Get close. Keep moving, mate. Fresh caught. You want to catch him? Beep. <laughs> Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! <laughs> Allow me to... <laughs> to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies you must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I. Cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. They've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah! You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse!
I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Oh. Yes! This is exactly where we need to be. Excellent! We are right on course! Keep going! Redcoats. What are they doing here? They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. Excellent! We are right on course! To the left, Connor! To the left, Connor! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. I've got a good line on him. There! Get him! Oh, rotten luck, old horse. Go slow. Futile. You can't escape, huh? This is it. You have got the right place. Let everyone know that the regulars march for Lexington and Concord. The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend. We have more people to warn. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Careful, Connor. There might be other scouts around. Go left up here. Go left up here.
This way, Connor! We can't afford to be discovered, Connor. Hide! Ah, no. Turn around! Where we want to go is behind us. Get back on the horse, Connor. Uh, Connor? Wouldn't surprise me if we ran into more trouble. Stay alert. Uh, Connor? We can't afford to be discovered, Connor. Hide! Uh, Connor? Get back on the horse, Connor. <laughs> Is everything all right, my friend? Careful, Connor. There might be other scouts around. Uh, Connor? What are you doing? Really, what? Mike? Can I, I do, do everything in my power to provide a life of leisure for you. Careful, Connor. There might be other scouts around. What are you doing? Get back on the horse, Connor. Is everything all right, my friend? Did you hear that? Could be red coats. Careful. This is it. You... Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once!
I believe we are on course. Go right, Connor! We should dismount for this. It'll be quicker and quieter. This is it! You have got the right place! <laughs> The regulars are coming. Here! We're here! Get them! Find a way to get rid of them, Connor! Lose them! We've gotta shake those redcoats! That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. We need to lose them. We've got to shake those redcoats. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. We should dismount for this. It'll be quicker and quieter. This is it! You have got the right place! Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Well, sure I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh, put on some trousers. At once. Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Paul, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor? It's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. <laughs> 